The key challenge in teaching an online course is to be able to provide an experience to the student and a learning environment to the student that is equivalent to a face-to-face -face course. Uh, my philosophy in, in gamifying the course was to take some of the elements of game design and what makes games so successful and be able to apply them to a course to help uh, enhance the student's desire and ability in the course. If you look at a traditional educational course, you, you learn some material, you take a test. You learn some material, you take a test. Once you take that test, that chapter is somewhat closed for you and you move on. So even if you only made a 75 on the test, you rarely get the opportunity to go back and better yourself and, and make a 95. One of the key elements of a game is that the player gets to make decisions. If a game is scripted so tightly that the player doesn't get to make decisions on what they do, then it wouldn't be a fun game. Most courses kind of have a linear pathway that students will go through, and one of the major components Ken kind of wanted to emphasize from the beginning is that his course was going to be designed around core and upgrade modules. So students would complete um, a core set of modules and then have the freedom to supplement those with different upgrade modules. And so adding, adding these different types of modules, you know, optional, mandatory, business, technology, starts to complicate the content. Uh, and so we had a, a series of, of, of things we added to the course to help students get through that. Um, one of those layers is, in my course, is a leaderboard which shows students uh, who, where they stand in, re in relationship to all the other students. Um, the leaderboard was there to encourage a little bit of competition in the course, but also to keep students on track. Since they kind of had a little bit more freedom, it would help show them, well, how are they doing compared to other students? What do they need to do to be in that top tier of points in the course? One of the key uh, designs uh, of gamifying this course was to increase engagement and learning while not increasing the demands of the instructor. Whenever I tell people that I have 30 plus students in a graduate course, they're like, wow, that's a lot of students. Uh, it tends to be more than what you find as the average uh, class size of a graduate program. From the beginning, Ken uh, really wanted to emphasize that his students would be moving from zero points to a high score. And this is opposed to students having an A and dropping down to a B or a C with any missed attempts. Um, so students can go through the modules. In many cases, they have multiple chances to do the assessments. That way, at their own pace, they can build expertise in, in each module as they progress through the entire course. For those that have taken other online courses, all of them state they've never had an online course like this. I saw a significant increase in the number of A's in my course once I started gamifying the course. Uh, in fact, Ken was able to do all this without significant changes to the content or the amount of time he spent in the course. What we strive to do is to produce a course that a student, when they finish that course, feels that they received even more education and more of their money's worth than they would have if they would have attended a class. That's a very different goal than just saying we want to make it equivalent.